Hey, we are on the air. It's episode 101 yeah. at Suzilla. It is 101. I just realized I forgot something in my office. That's okay. No big deal. Okay. It can stay there. So, yeah. <laughs> Hi, uh, Susie and Nat here. Suzilla, hey. Susie Health Solutions Enrollment Center, blah, blah. In Wenatchee. In Wenatchee, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Hi. Yes, we missed last week because we were on vacation. Yes, we were nine, nine days in the car. Well, not entirely in the car. Yeah, but it's... it's. <laughs> it was a road trip. It was a road trip to see America. Well, at least a chunk of it. A good chunk of it yeah. because uh, some, of the, some of the more well-traveled was following us and they were like impressed on how far we traveled. Well, it was what, about 4,000 miles. We, I, we never did calculate it out, but it's right in that zone. Yeah. And then, of course, the side trips and stuff like that. So it was, um, we left Washington, and it was Washington, Idaho, Oregon. Or was it Washington, Oregon? Washington, Oregon. Through Idaho. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Through Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Utah, Arizona, in Nevada are the states we visited. Yeah. In a big loop. Uh, yeah, it was a big, big eye. We we set up in a, in a pretty, pretty safe manner. Uh, we, we called up our, our car insurance people and said, hey, car insurance people, we want the coverage. To, if we get an accident on the road trip, well, all the bells and whistles. Yeah, we we, um, we 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 boosted our car car insurance, which you can do. You can do, and, uh, and then you just bring it back down when you're home. Yeah, and it cost us for that that extra boosted coverage for about a month. Uh, about five bucks. Yeah, because we're 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 coming to the end of the cycle. We we did that. We What's the thing in your shirt. Yeah, it's the shirt itself. Oh, that sucks. Thanks for pointing it out. Okay, so. We boosted that. It was distracting. <laughs> Squirrel. Uh, so we we boosted that. We got some. Tra- we got travel plans. We did. We got a travel policy for the three of us because um, our insurance doesn't work out of state, out of network at all. We're, yeah. we're the dam, and we were in states that didn't have network coverage. Yeah, we we knew that we were going to be in some kind of wild, wild and woolly areas. Well, we went to the Grand Canyon, and last thing you want to do is pull down the Grand Canyon and not have insurance. Yeah, because the helicopter, you know, the donkey trip up costs money. Yeah, and we don't have that sort of donkey trip money. They so. would have hel- they would have had to helicopter me out. There's no way I go find donkey. Donkey, maybe donkey treat team. Donkey. Actually, it was mules, but that's a whole other thing. Okay, so. But either way, we got a policy that will give us um, primary medical. Yeah. And evacuation, among other things. Among other things. But if, for example, if one of us had fallen down and keeled over, no, yeah. then we would have had repatriation. They would have the policy would have paid for us to bring the mortal remains home. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah, no one, no one thinks about that sort of thing. But we're insurance people, and we think about this stuff <coughs> constantly. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I swallowed wrong. Um, repatriation is really handy. Mm-hmm. If you're traveling internationally, because transporting mortal remains over international boundaries, man, that's an effort. And these guys will help process. That. Yeah, and that's that's one of the things we we, we looked at. It's like, okay, what do we do? Because we're traveling during a pandemic, we know that. And but we were, our plan was primarily outdoor sites. Yes, and it was low when we left. <laughs> it was kind of low when we left, and we got back, and it's just like, wow, it's Snoop Dogg high around here. Ha, ha, ha. And, and we had a mask up. Yeah, well, um, yeah, come to our office, wear a mask. Um, we, we had a mask up a couple times while, while we were traveling. Right. Um, mostly in, well, the national park said masks in indoors and in the conveyances, the Correct. buses and stuff, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Well, basically when people were, we we're near each other. Um, when you were outdoors, then it was, it was not required. Mm-hmm. Um, we masked up when we were in a lot of, in, in most of the indoor situations. Yeah. Um, for when we were on the reservation, because it was the first t- time we actually got to set foot on a Navajo on, on the Navajo Indian reservation. And they were, don't Did, mess with us. Put a damn mask on. <laughs> yeah, they had a. It was a. It was a. Well, at least a four or five foot. It was a serious z- sign. Sandwich board on the outside said masks are required. They were not playing around with it. Um, and you know, I I've been following the numbers, and they got hammered hard. They have every right to be requesting that. Absolutely. And everybody obeyed. 
Yep. And Mac had his very one of his very favorite meals there in Arizona. Well, actually, the Arizona meals are kind of mediocre, except for that one. Yes, we're, we'll we'll get into that because we're again in the the setup zone. Yeah. So getting into it. Yes. Our first night out, we hit Oregon. Yes, we were in Oregon. Um, we were in. Oh, you're fit, you should, should have told me to bring the map out. I was surprised you didn't have the map. Uh, Usually, have a little. Give phone. me a second. I will get it. So yes, we were in Oregon. Tell people we about were in the, Baker City, Oregon. Baker City, Oregon, uh, and it was a cute little motel. Um, it was a. It was recently renovated, which was nice. Yeah, we we rolled in, and it was a biker rally. Yes, they were their a, first annual bi- biker rally. Yeah, that was kind of fun. And you'd never know these things if you know, because we we it was what four hundred miles away, something like that. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, it was it was it was it was our our, our first. Hey, what's going on here? Um, biker rally, and so we went in and we we, we scoped out downtown, uh, picked up some books at a very cute bookstore. Oh yeah, very nice. Uh, Eddie's books. If you're listening, we love you. Yeah, and uh, then picked up dinner. Mm-hmm. Now, one of the things at dinner is we is is I pick things that are tr- that are regional. Mm-hmm. And unique. That's that's kind of my that was kind of my goal because I want to see what you know other flavors are. Right. So it's 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 kind of like doing this this weird you know flavor town road trip when you when you when you're with me. One thing that's absolutely true about Matt when he goes to a restaurant, he likes to order things that we can't make. Yeah. Or won't make. Or haven't made. Or haven't made, and then try to figure out how to you know. Re- yeah, replicate it. Replicate it. Um, um, but that was one of the delightful things. The right off the gate was we I ordered it was steak fingers. It's, well, that, that was after the deep fried. That was after the fried green beans. Oh yeah, that was had the fried green beans. Which those were, were really good. Those were those were good. Um, and steak fingers. Um, and steak fingers is like okay, yeah, they're gonna do a chicken fried steak thing. Nope, I was wrong. It wasn't. It was good. It was. It was Hell's Canyon beef that was just as tender as could be that was thin sliced breaded battered fried and it was it was so tender that it didn't need to be run through a tenderizer uh, yeah it was good it was a nice and, and with the beef we got from our people i could probably try that yeah so it was it was amazing right out the gate and that was kind of and and in all my foodies that were that that are that follow me on Facebook, we're like, "Ooh, what's that?" And it's like, "These are steak fingers. These are awesome." Uh, it reminds <laughs> me of the pork nuggets. <laughs> yeah, we had pork nuggets one year. In the, in the awesomeness of like, what the heck is this? Why haven't we? Why had isn't this before? a thing? Yeah, the, we we run into these 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 events. It's like, why isn't this a thing? Mm-hmm. Um, and steak fingers was was, was 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 right up the edge, and it started out good in this biker alley, and then we went. What was the in and this Utah. one was Utah. We were in Ogden, Utah. Now, Utah is 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 one of those things that, that you know I, I I have a lot of friends that are LDS. Mm-hmm. Uh, grow grew up, you know, tons of them. I went to Temple, uh, Boy Scouts, uh, the whole nine yards, and I I'd, I'd heard about Utah for, for years. Right. Um, and one of the trends I heard about that that, that occurred it was kind of a Boom was soda shops. Yeah, and I'd never heard of the day. No, I think maybe I'd heard of it just kind of peripherally and never really sunk in. But Matt was all all about the soda shop, and I wanted to try one of these soda shops. And 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 it, it was it was we rolled in and we, we started so started you know looking at the menu. It's like oh yeah we can order because we wanted to do well, that was after our first event our first experience with an In and Out burger. Yes, because Nick wanted to try an In and Out burger. We had In and Out burgers in Ogden, Utah. They were great. Uh, they were yeah they were reminded okay. me of Dick's Burgers in Seattle. Yeah, so, basic, tasty, got the job done. Yeah, um, Nick said yeah I did that once. <laughs> yeah, but then, well like me I've been to Olive Garden once that's fine. Yeah. Uh, but the soda shop, we started looking at the menus, and it was, it was something like two hundred different flavors. Yeah, I mean, it was and any mix you could make. Yeah, like they had the stuff you could. They you, they'd mix whatever you wanted up for it. And what they did is they take like commercial sodas, like Coke, well, mo- like Sprites and Coca Colas, and Dr Pepper was really Dr Pepper was yeah, it was really popular. It was um, it was, was surprising. It was surprising on the the level of caffeinated drinks. Yeah, 
that's a whole other thing. Mountain Dew mm. is in there. And then others are um, their ice cream drinks and mm -hmm. all kinds of other variants. And they put, like, if you had a Sprite and you put, like, uh, green apple syrup in it kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And you, they do, like, the, the coffee syrups and they put it in the... Um, and they put it in the sodas and they are and they with weird old mixes and darn they're flavorful. Yeah, it, it was it was fascinating because like I said, it was like hundreds of flavors. Um I had it was like a huckleberry. Yeah, you had a huckleberry thingy. Like dream or something, or I could other app. Um it was it was impressive. Uh, it was, I had a butter beer. Yeah. I had a blended butter beer. It was really sweet, but it was tasty. So yeah, it was it was this you know seeing this new business model. There was three three employees. It was really it was really clean, and it was the first realization mm -hmm. of the music. Yes, we figured we'd have been into country music available by then. And what it was is, is basically was that that classic eighties nineties mix mm -hmm. that we grew up with, and it was like okay, this is kind of surprising. Mm -hmm. Um, was that a little unexpected, not unwelcome? No, it was. It was. It was like okay, because we 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 travel quite a bit, and you you kind of get this weird, you know, kind of out of touch music in the background when you go to when you go to places. Yeah, exactly. That's a good way to put it. And and this was the first time. It's like okay, this is strangely comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, it's like why can can we have one of those in our town? In our town, I could get. I think I, I honestly, a soda shop could do well. A soda shop could do well. It, it depends largely on the on the drive through status. Yeah, you've got to have a strong drive through game. Um, and it's it's who runs it. Yeah, it's it's really because it takes that kind of mentality of, of running it through. Um, you know, Dutch Bros has got a pretty fast and effective system. Yeah, it could uh, when be they're something running, like that. but we're talking with you know another. 200 drinks. <laughs> well, the thing is, it doesn't have to be that big of a menu. Yeah, but that the, the claim to fame is, is really that that yeah. level well, of, of you Remember, of the one luxury. we visited was a small chain. Correct. They had, I want to say it was like 30 or 40. Yeah, it was a, it was a local friend. It was a, a franchise. statewide franchise. No, they, 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 they were in other states. Were they? Yeah. Oh, not Washington. No, they, I know they jumped over in Texas, and I want to say Nevada as well. I That would do well in Texas, I think. Yeah. Um, it was the, the Austin area. Oh, definitely. So yeah, I was, I was like, I was like, we, as business owners, you look at other business opportunities mm -hmm. and, and what, what could be done. And that was the first one. I was like, okay, yeah, this is pretty cool. You know, and it's like, yeah, this is something that could easily be brought to our area, mm -hmm. um, with the right team. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then that, that but you, again, like Matt said, your 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 drive through point game has to be on point. Yeah, and it's 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 that process. Um, I, I think the, the 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 reason they're making it it's got to be their internal distribution. Because mm -hmm. um, I know even like Dutch Bros has got a distribution center here located. They do in our area, they so do. they can disperse the so, stuff. Yeah, if you're just doing a one shot in a small in a town, then it's a whole different conversation. <laughs> Distribution is really key. It is, um, and that's that's why Walmart has risen as, to the levels it has because they've got the bulk buying and distribution. And they were able to take out Sears and Kmart mm -hmm. because Sears and Kmart can never really uh, float out their distribution network. No. And it's why Amazon is doing as, as hot as it is. Mm -hmm. We saw more Amazon trucks on the road than Walmart trucks. I think that's true. I mean. And we saw a lot of we saw UPS out in the most rural places. Yeah, we really did a lot of just driving in in rural rural areas. Um, our next uh, next up was at the Gristmill Inn. That was also that was Sheridan Sheridan Utah. It was Utah. Sheridan Utah. Um, and that's not right. It's not the Sheridan. It's not Sheridan. It's Monticello. Utah. Monticello. Monticello Utah. Um, they're kind of on the edge of, of, of recreation there. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, it, it was, was a small town. It was a small town. Great, great stop. They were ha having difficulty with labor. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it was a bed and breakfast, but they couldn't do breakfast. They couldn't do breakfast. Um, but they had the, one of the nicest, the, the, the place we stayed had the, one of the nicest restaurants in town. So that made it easier for us. Yes. Um, cause we were really, and, and yeah, the, 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 the it was, Here's the trick. In Utah, 
you better have a place with a restaurant attached to it. Really? Because there were a lot of restaurants in a lot of areas of that day that we traveled that were not open. That's true. Um, so yeah, if you're traveling through, through Utah, try and have something with a with a place with a, a restaurant attached. Yeah, try to have a restaurant. We we the the, the it was the Grist Mill. The Grist Mill, yeah. Grist Mill. It was a bed and breakfast. Um, it was a bed and breakfast, uh, family yeah. run, small business. They, they they enlisted their kids to help out. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was it was a wonderful stay. It was a good experience. It was it it, it was a great experience. Um, but you could you could see the the struggle in in small businesses that mm -hmm. they're they're having, um, and that's that's why we wanted to go and, and support. It's like, look, you got an awesome thing here. Keep going. Yeah. Um, that was where they made their own root beer. Yes, we had two places that made their own root beer, but theirs was better. Oh yeah, there, there, there was, there, there was better, and that was the other thing. Is this, you know, what are what are the regional drinks? Uh, we drank a, a fair a amount. A lot of lemonade. A lot of lemonade. Um, but yeah, that that was the thing, and then then we hit our first kind of detour after that because mm -hmm. we were like looking. It's like our our next big stop was the Grand Canyon. Yeah, but we went through the Valley of Monuments. We did. We went through Monument Valley and. Um, near the arches, Moab and Austin. Mexican hat. Mexican hat. Um, the big funky rock formations in Utah. And oh my gosh, it was it it was, it was awesome. awesome. And in the most in the truest sense of the word, awesome. Yeah, I I, I can't. It's just like yeah, you see pictures of uh, Forrest Gump mm -hmm. has has a great shot there. We we stopped at the Forrest Gump shot. Yeah, where Forrest Gump is running after. Um, after Denny left and his mama died and he just started running. Yeah. And he ran for like four years and he stopped at Monument. He stopped running because he was done uh -huh. in Monument Valley, Utah. Yeah. And he turned around and that's where, and we actually stopped and got a picture of that piece of the highway. It's mm -hmm. a huge. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing. It is. It's, it's, there's nothing quite like it. Yeah. Um, it's, it's one of those things that, that uh, we, we picked up some jewelry. Mm, picked uh, up a for, lovely piece of, of turquoise jewelry. Um, um, you, th because we're in, there's three or four different reservations in that area. Mm -hmm. The uh, Arapaho, the Navajo, and um, the Cheyenne. Utes. 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 Um, I'm not sure if Cheyenne's, because I know I, I know there was a Cheyenne somewhere along I our knew, trip. Well, what I got was, I think my stand was from a Navajo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, um, but yeah, so we picked up the, Picked up him, picked up a beautiful piece of turquoise jewelry and a lovely necklace. Yeah, but it was interesting because uh, you, you, there were there were there was established stands. Yes, um, uh, quite a few places, different places to stop, but they were th those. A lot of those stands were like half empty. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a big. There was a big stop that we did. It was the first kind of glimpse it was the uh, the colorado um little colorado's valley yes um, um and that's that's, that's on the reservation that's on the reservation and it's it's kind of get the first idea of what it's like at the grand canyon mm -hmm. um but it's it's a little colorado so it's not quite as big i guess <laughs> but it's pretty darn impressive it was impressive and there was a um there's a whole vendor vendor area that was about half full yeah it was Maybe, yeah. Um, it was it was it was it was surprisingly, you know. And we're we're talking, you know, July during the day. Maybe, maybe it fills up on the weekends. Maybe because it was a weekend. Because yeah, it was Monday. Yeah, we 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 we, we uh, thought, touched bases with that yeah. one. Oh, one thing we missed is the dinosaur museum. Yes, yeah, it was the University of, University of Utah. Utah or Eastern Utah. I can't remember which one. One of the one of the Utah universities. Um, their uh, paleontology department. Yes, they had a. It was a, a big, major dig site. Yes. And we, we we stumbled into this thing, and it was amazing. It was very. Cool. Um, I because we we we've, we've you know we've done different dinosaur museums in like Montana mm -hmm. and Wyoming, um, but this this this. It was, it was, this, this was, was impressive. A, this was a university site, so it's mm -hmm. an active, an active, vibrant museum. There was, they were, they had, um, they weren't working at the mm -hmm. moment, but they have um, like 
fish tanks where you can watch the 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 scientists mm. uncover the bits and pieces. Mm. And the and their models had a lot of actual fossils in them. They didn't mm. have a complete skeleton of a dinosaur, but they had they had a, a couple that were complete. They were well, they complete well yeah. mostly, but they had actual fossil bones, and then they mm. filled in bits with replica bits. So you could kind of get some some perspective. And mm -hmm. it was like, dude. Yeah, and they had like coal footprints, which is something I'd never seen before. Yeah, footprints of the um, the, the dinosaurs that when that it converted into to coal, mm -hmm. you know. And there was an entire um, uh, mammoth. Yeah, the mam mammoth was exhibit was was, was... mammoth exhibit um, had some comparative um, anatomy. Mm -hmm. They had skulls of. Uh, modern critters in comparison to prehistoric critters. Mm. Now we, we need we need to. We're gonna get. We're, we're, we're going too far into this. We're gonna do, go there if you can. Totally yeah, awesome. go there. Uh, Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. We made it to the Grand Canyon, and we stayed at the Grand C Hotel just outside the Grand Canyon. Now there are some things we noticed about Arizona, really quick. Mm -hmm. um, the roads weren't the best. Yeah, some places better than others. Uh, Utah's roads were a whole lot better. Yeah, Utah did a good job of the roads. Uh, yeah. they, they, they probably had some of the, the chunkiest roads we saw. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see the trash on the side of the road. Yeah, Utah had the clean roads. Matt fell in yeah. love with Utah. Uh, Utah was, was, like I said, was, was, was surprisingly good. Uh, then, we, then we went to the Grand Canyon. We had to go through the park. It was like a $35 fee. Mm -hmm. um, but the big scary toll road kind of made it, made it easy for it. Alexa mute. Um, but we stayed. It was at the south south rim. Yeah, the south rim um, near the about a mile from the entrance. Um, and there's a there's a little touristy town between two roundabouts. Right. Um, you can walk everywhere. Um, and, and it was tourism. It was very it was very tourist. The the the, the food wasn't the best. The attitudes wasn't the best. It was the best experience was the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon itself was breathtaking. Now, when you we did a sunset shot, what what perch was that? That was um, Moran Point. You got to do the Moran Point for sunset. It's out a little bit farther than the others, but which means it is not as heavily trafficked. There's some there's some really popular points to. To view the sunset, uh -huh. but it's chock full of people. Yeah, we 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 taught. Susie did the whole uh, Matt, jumped in the. Our the son hunter. and I did yeah. a um a tour. Yeah, and the driver, he and the driver, Nick and the driver got um chummy. Uh -huh. And he, the guy was from New Jersey. Okay. And he'd been all over the country, and he said, "Hey, if you want to do a sunset, do Moran Point." Yeah. So we did Moran. Point. It did not disappoint. It came. Yeah. It dropped right in the middle of. It. So after that, boom! On uh, you know, we did two days at Grand Canyon. Well, one full day, we yeah. pulled in, stayed, pulled in, mm -hmm. spent the night, stayed the entire day, and then um, pulled out the next day. Okay, then it was to Boulder City. Yes, that was near Hoover Dam. Now we're the, you you won't. I didn't expect this. There's a, a there's a strong Italian influence in that area. See, and that's weird that you didn't expect that because it was, it's all, it's a suburb of Las Vegas. Still, I didn't I didn't expect that, and we 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 had a really fine pizza, mm -hmm. and then the the next morning we went out and we got breakfast. Yeah, yep. And it was it it was a place that had been featured on uh, the diners, drive-ins, and dot and drivers, diners, drive-ins, and dives. Yeah, and it's about the third one of those we've done. Um, but this one didn't make it really kind of a center focus. No, it, they had one picture up and that was enough. And that was enough. And we had incredible breakfast. Yeah. Um, I had the Godfather plate. Uh, Nick it, had the, the, it was the breakfast the, tacos. Breakfast tacos. Loved and, the breakfast yeah, tacos. Yeah. And I can't remember what you had. You, I had, it was a, um, a broccoli scramble. Yeah. And the, it was broccoli with, um, grilled chicken mm -hmm. and cheese all in a scramble. And it was Mm -hmm. You know, better than better than I expected. From there, we blasted north. We got our, our shot of the 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 new Vegas, the Las Vegas sign. Yep, that was a long that was the long leg. That was one of the long legs. The long leg. 
Yeah. That's when we did. That's when we went through Area Fifty One. We we did we did the whole area the alien alien highway. highway. It's uh was it, one sixty five. Mm-hmm. Um, we we stopped the alien shop. I got a bunch of alien stuff because we're that geeky. Mm-hmm. Oh, we also forgot the we we rolled through uh, uh sixty six. Oh yeah, we took a, we a, took a big chunk of that out of Arizona. It was on Route six Route sixty six. Yeah, we we took the the, the longest chunk of 66 still in existence yep so we got our kicks on route 66 literally um there's a, a big giant head down there oh that was so awesome and uh, giganticus headicus or something yeah giganticus headicus um they ha- had it was like oh yeah this is, this is like the the stuff they did from cars that you know talk to the guy the the car that they used the art the the production scout team went and looked at all the sites was there um, the original Mater was there. Yeah, what they used for a, a model for Mater uh, and for the cop car. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was kind of cool. It was. It was. It was very cool. And it, let's see, Area Six, excuse me, Area Fifty One. We did that. That was north of Las Vegas by about an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, and we stopped. That's where we stopped at Sharon, the Sharon Hotel. Yeah, that was next to Sharon. Uh, it was just. It was just a long, long trip. Um, a lot of, uh, that's, that's where we started seeing, you know, uh, old American sites that were still standing, but it had been closed down for years. Yeah. Um, there was, there was one point on the highway that, that, uh, I saw it was two old men at an old gas station playing checkers. Yes. I mean, just pure, pure um, Americana, Americana, yeah. um, you, you you don't see that, but it was it was one of those things. I was like looking at, it's like, well, why isn't you know people, you know, flipping these flipping these sites and putting in the the the, the you know the Wi Fi and the network so that these you know people that are driving around in vans have a cool place to start. Now, one thing we did see okay. is the American Rescue Plan Act doing its mm. job. We were we saw a lot of that's the infrastructure bill. The infrastructure bill we saw. Um, uh, fiber networks being laid in. Yeah, down there on the on the reservation, mm-hmm. which was very cool. So it was, it was cool seeing the, the money because it's like that's what it's going to take to bring business in some of these rural areas, mm-hmm. um, and and stop the the, the drain of kids. Mm-hmm. Um, because we're we're a small town, and it's like yeah, there's like kind of a drain of kids when you act horrible and don't have resources, they leave. Well, we were in, was it Wells? We were at in a tiny little town. Oh, no, we just drove through one on the way to Wells. Mm-hmm. And that's where we stayed at the Sharon Motel. And there were, you know, our, you know, it was, mm-hmm. it was, they had banners up um, celebrating their, um, their folks who were, their, their residents who were in the armed forces. Mm-hmm. And it's like every kid in this town yeah. went to the service. That was north, that was north, of, north of it. Yeah. Uh, then after that, we, Cut cut across Idaho because we didn't st- stop in Idaho. Yep, uh, and we we went into Hell's Canyon, Wallowa, Oregon. Um, here's the important thing: Hell's Canyon is kind of a Greenland, if you will. Iceland. I, I, Iceland. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. They named it Hell's Canyon because they didn't want you to go there. Yep. It's beautiful. Matt was drooling over the fishing holes on the Wallowa River. Yep. Oh. Literally drooling. I had to give him a nap. Yeah, uh, you, we we came in the south end. We went through the Blue Mountains, which we've never gone through in Oregon, in the, into Hell's Canyon. Absolute picture perfect farms in that south southern. Mm-hmm. It was literally it was it was so picturesque. Uh, it was so beautiful. There were three restaurants, nice uh, small family run uh, hotel we stayed in. Best best French toast I've ever had, and I make pretty good French toast. Oh, the fleet of French toast. Fleet at, of French toast. That was at the Strawberry the blonde, blonde. Blonde Strawberry. Blonde Strawberry. Um, they're getting ready to retire at the end of this year. So if you if you're heading for Oregon this summer, go there. Go there. Um, it just a, you know, I had I had it was the lo, the smothered hash browns. Mm-hmm. Didn't have to put Tabasco on it. That's really rare for Matt. The 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 coffee that he had. They put it. They bring out this big carafe, big old air pot. The air air pot, single pump. It goes straight down, fills the cup just perfectly. I had one one packet of sugar in it. It was perfectly sweetened. Mm-hmm. So 
there was that level of protection. You only got until it's like December 22nd. 20, yeah, 22nd, I think. I think and they close on the 23rd and he's not coming back. And they're not coming back. So this is your chance to, to get in and see something before it's gone. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be out of here because I think our, our next client showed up. Uh, I think that was him. So, <laughs> hey, have a good week. Yes. We're going to talk about business next week um, because there's been some shakeup in our area. Uh, concerning supporting rights. Yes. Nothing so, we can't handle. Nothing we can handle, but we're, we're fighting the good fight. So, yes. hey, have a good one. Bye. And uh, bye for now.